Oh, good morning from Tucson. I got young David with me. Uh, we're going to try and filter the vegetable oil and get all the crap out of it. Here's the information on the oil. It has crap in it. I'm trying to get the crap out. David's going to help me. He's probably going to hold the camera because uh, it's a little bit easier when I have other people when I'm doing work to hold the camera. He's very excited about that this morning. Extremely excited. Uh, so, so here's, uh, let me just go into a little detail. Uh, it's been clogged, the oil has been clogging my filter on the way to the engine. Every 40, 50 miles or so, it chews up a $8 filter, $9 filter, right? Still saving money as opposed to diesel because I got it for free, but some re for some reason, the oil that I put in the tank was not clean enough. Right there on the bottom is a drain plug, and so I will attach a ball valve to this and then attach a transfer pump and suck out all the oil from the tank. Now, I'm sure there are many ways to skin a cat, and I'm sure lots of people have very good ideas. This is how I'm doing it today. I have a trash can. I went to the thrift shop and I got two pairs of very large pants. These pants are probably the size that the trolls wear when they are commenting on YouTube videos in the van life. Now, we also have zip ties. And I have this, um, that goes into the, the drain plug, ball valve, and that goes to my transfer pump. Now, I'm going to take the zip tie and zip tie this together, then flip it inside out, and that will be, hopefully, and I might actually either double them up or put a pant leg inside of a pant leg. To, hopefully that's enough to get all the sediment out of there, because it's, it's very fine sediment. And these are a hell of a lot cheaper than $8 filters. Here's something funny. I found the right size. I think it's like 3 8 or size 10. And I put it in, look, it's already wiggling. We didn't, <laughs> this thing wasn't even tight all the way. And uh, I only have myself to blame for that because I installed this thing. Uh, <laughs> so, um, for future reference, <laughs> make sure you uh, tighten your plug all the way, huh? All right, so what I'm doing right now so I'm using this Allen wrench, even though I don't really need to. I can literally unscrew it with my hand. I have a little catch down here for the vegetable oil. And this is my contraption to stop the flow. It's a little ball valve, right? If you don't know what that is, it just means, well, the oil won't come shooting out. Step one. Oh, look at all the sludge wanting to come out. Holy crap. All right, can you see the sludge? In the camera, David? All right, here we go. I'm gonna drop it. Gotta figure out which way is tighten. Oh my God, there's so much fucking oil coming out. the right way. All right, now it's threaded. And we are having a little leakage. Nature of the beast. We only lost a little bit of oil. All I need to do is tighten this enough so that the oil is not coming through the threads. So I'll stop right there. 
Awesome. And that's a lot cleaner than putting a little kiddie pool down here. But check this out. Let's put this in the sunlight. This is a lot of the heavy debris that has been clogging the filters. Is that pretty clear? Uh, zoom it in at 35. There you go. So this is a lot of the, the sediment um, that's been clogging up the filters. You can see it right on top of there. I don't know what that's from. I don't know where all that stuff came from. Um, I know that I filtered that stuff out. Um, so it is a little bit of a mystery to me, but that's what's been clogging up the tank. So, as you can see, debris. I'm a poet, you didn't even know it. All right, so today, um, like I said, we're gonna do the affordable way to filter the oil using a zip tie and uh, large pants, very large denim pants. I got these for about four or five bucks. I am tightening them as much as possible. So there's one, and here's two. And again, the reason for this is so I don't have to spend $8 per filter for my mistake. This is, uh, you can sometimes pick these up for like two bucks, right? And I watched this on YouTube, so it has to be right. <laughs> okay, so zip tie the bottoms, and you take your extra large pants, troll size, we will call them, flip them inside out. Bam, we got one pair done. All right guys, check it out. This is the oil from my tank, and I am uh, running it through the transfer pump. Um, so this is mostly vegetable oil. As you can see, it's not that clear. Now it's a little more clear, so we are sucking from the bottom, <clears throat> and the bottom is where the debris settles. So there's a pretty good chance I don't even have to uh, suck out the whole amount of oil because this stuff right here is looking pretty damn clean. But to be on the safe side, I'm gonna pump out as much as possible because what I pump out is what I save in filters. So as you can see, the pump just turned off. Okay, so here's what we did. We put a strainer in this filter housing on the tube coming from the tank before it hits a tank. Uh, sorry, before it hits a filter um, pump because the strainer in the, f in the pump is getting clogged by debris. Now I'm gonna clog the debris in this thing because it's removable and a hell of a lot easier. Uh, so I just have an adapter here and uh, there are two thread sizes and I'm gonna crank it around the opposite direction. And then I'm just gonna Screw it in. And then of course, once you do find the hole, it just slips in nice and easy. The way it was meant to be. <laughs> and I hope you guys are getting a kick out of this. All right, so that is pretty tight in here. I feel like this was loosened up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and torque this one back down. Now, this is a messy job here playing with veggie oil. All right, slight change of plans here because this is a first time problem, right? First time I've had to drain the tank and then filter it. So this is a very slow filtration process. So what I'm gonna do instead is just catch the large debris and I'm just gonna recirculate it because this canister, uh, mesh canister, will strain the large pieces that are just large. <laughs> And really, the large pieces are the big problem with my setup because 
I'm blowing through filters every 40-50 miles. So next time I'll filter better, but this is a process. As you can see, this is going to take forever. It's going to get heavy. I think this would just be a better way to uh, recirculate and filter at the same time. So without further ado, let's plug it in. <laughs> Holy shit, look at this. Is that all saturated fats? What is that? Oh, it's bubbles. Okay. Oh, you know what? I need to turn this on. That will start the uh, oil flow. There we go. So we were just uh, recirculating the oil. And uh, like I said, this uh, mesh strainer will pick up the larger debris and uh, I don't know, and I think that's the, the fix for the time being. So I'll just let this run for quite a while and then we'll check back in with you guys. Yeah. All right, so guys, I have a magnetized uh, screwdriver and I'm just pushing it through some of this debris. Look at that. If you can see that, it's all the debris that I've been finding is metal now. I don't know if it's from the welding of the tank or the cutting of the tank before the welding and I don't know if it's from the motor oil that I poured in there but we have we know what it is now we have metal debris um, and of course you don't want metal de debris to get into your engine um, and it's a good thing it is clogging up but so right now we're just pumping it through probably something that's not good enough to filter this stuff out I'm gonna have to put a big old filter on this and get all this stuff out because otherwise I'm just gonna repeat the process. Right now we're just recirculating through a uh, metal strainer so at least we now know what it is. We're gonna take a break over at Vegetable Oil Headquarters. This is sponsored in part by Waste Vegetable Oil, the solution for a more vegetable greasy world. Um, I just turned this thing out off after about 20 minutes. The motor's about, I don't know, 150 degrees. It's pretty hot. Burns my hand. Um, I accidentally, this is going to surprise no one whatsoever, but I accidentally reversed the flow here. <laughs> so all the sediment is going inside of the filter strainer. You know, whatever it happens. But the setup is working. We are getting out the big debris. Big debris, meaning anything over 150 microns, um, which is not that big for a vegetable oil uh, source as a fuel. It needs to be closer to one micron, but I screwed up and um, I might replace this one with another filter and then just recirculate as much as possible because this is a lot easier. And then I'll of course pump it out into storage tanks just like this. <coughs> and then you don't know this, but I'm gonna drop this tank once it's empty and then I'm gonna install a heated pickup, a um, I forget what they're called actually. Um, Arctic Fox or Hot Fox heated filter, heated by the coolant. It's going to heat and uh, radiate. It's going to heat the tank and it's also going to heat the fuel being sucked out of the tank. It comes out of the top and all that fun stuff. So we got some things to do here. Also, I believe tomorrow is transmission day. I need to call the guys. Make sure because I'm going to film that entire process. Uh, tear down and rebuild. It's gonna be fun. The mystery of the clogged filters has now been uncovered <laughs> on this episode of Jack's Austin. All right, so I've narrowed it down to uh, the metal not going through a 10 or 15 micron felt filter. No way is that possible. Absolutely not. Um, and if you disagree, you will just have to wait and see the felt filter because it's literally impossible. The debris has to come from when the tank was cut. It was washed before it was cut, but it wasn't washed after it was cut. See what I'm saying? So when the welder, and no fault of, of the welder at all, uh, my fault, if anything, for not rinsing it out, well, lack of knowing, lack of experience, because you never know what you don't know, right? Even though, of course, there are a couple people who like to assume that I know everything. I really don't. So, okay. Wash, cut, 
welded, welded together. We're talking about the fuel tank. Then it was filled with oil. Well, when I first put oil in this thing, I only put in like 30 gallons, so it only went up yay high. But then after that, I put it all the way up, right? There's like 90 gallons in here. So as the level of oil <laughs> was going higher, it was grabbing these uh, metal pieces, paint chips, etc., on the wall of the tank, and then dropping down, collecting, and then getting sucked out because it sucks from the bottom, not the top. This is where all of the stuff came that was clogging up my $8 filter. So, after I recirculate this oil many times, and I'm going to have to change the direction of this another time, maybe even get a new strainer because all the crap is on the inside, it should be on the outside. Um, so after this recirculates quite a bit until I feel safe, I will then dump out or pump out the oil into three of these containers uh, to hang on to. Because, like I said before, early in the video, then I'm going to have to drop the tank, do some work on the tank, put it back up, and all that jazz. And there's no way I'm going to do it when there's a thousand pounds of oil in there. Totally stupid. Bad idea. Very unsafe. I'll do it when it's 100 or 200 pounds, so if it falls on me, no big deal. For the most part. So... I also had a, I don't know, I just have to mention this because I actually thought it was funny. So, the video went up the other day about the transmission and all that stuff and, you know, I've seen all these videos where people are like literally begging for money and, you know, that's not really, <laughs> that's not really my MO. Like I said, if you like what I'm doing, you want to help out, you want to join Patreon, knock yourself out. I used to bartend, it's kind of like a tip jar. Completely up to you. Um, there were a couple, tro a couple trolls that came by and I thought it was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> one guy was such a troll, he didn't even know he was a troll. He's like, what? I'm using my real name and my real face. I'm like, you're just a fucking asshole. So, get lost. So, there's some people out there that just, you know, I, I, I just naturally shy away from negative people, negative negativity, negative thoughts. Um, because it is literally poison for your soul. If you are a happy, positive person, you will exude happiness and positivity, and people want to be your friend, and you're just, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, that so-and-so is just, a, just the nicest person, right? Depends, how, you know, what kind of life you want to live. Completely up to you. But I guarantee you, <laughs> the negative thoughts, the negative words, the negativity, it's like poison for yourself, as well as other people. But it literally poisons your organs, your insides, your soul, your mind, everything. But I just had to laugh it off earlier because, <laughs> I mean, what can you do, you know? But um, anyways, I know it was just kind of funny. He's such a troll, didn't even know he's a troll. Anyways, by the way, I block trolls, whatever. So if anybody wants a troll, comment down below your nastiest thought. And I will click quickly with a click of the button, block your ass from commenting on future videos. All right, now back to the important stuff. The vegetable oil, this is some of the debris that first came out of the tank. Now, of course, not all of this, because this was left outside. This is just a, uh, a paint thing. This was left outside, so there was a little bit, you know, dust, dirt, sand. Like the sand grit down that corner, that, that, that didn't come out of the tank. But all, the, all this black stuff and the stuff floating, all that was in the bottom of the tank. And for those who don't know, all the sediments in oil or water, just like sand in the ocean... They fall to the bottom. So this was like the nastiest part. So I'm just trying to get all these really big particles out that never should have been in there in the first place. I'm just trying to get those things out. Um, but all's well in the vegetable world. Um, <laughs> it's going to work fine. You know, we got a couple little bumps and bruises. And, you know, like I said, nobody jumps out of the womb, you know an expert martial artist or dancer or trombone player. Um, and this is a learning lesson. So this is a lesson I've learned. Look at what happens here. The, the band system is new to me, right? Two denim jeans. Now, there's no way that debris is getting through these jeans whatsoever. I'm sorry. If someone thinks otherwise, I, I firmly disagree with you. Now, of course, a very small micron number could get through, but anything that would close the pump in a quick fashion is not coming through the jeans, okay? I don't know what micron the jeans are. 
one, five, ten, whatever, right? It, it, it's, <laughs> it's great. It's, you think someone's going to get through jeans, you got another thing coming. Now, however, look at what's happening here. Uh, I filled up the jeans. Now, the level of the oil, the oil it has leveled out. And um, it is not going to continue to drain out. So, since I'm mobile, this is not going to work. I honestly need to have a dual rake core system, you know, with some hoses and whatever, if I'm going to plan on sucking oil. Now, if I had my own setup, I would do a gravity system where there was like a primary filter, sorry, a primary tank up high, which then filters through maybe something like this, going into another level, which gravity feeds into another one, and then the bottom one's like pure, like one micron or something. Now, since I'm on the road, I'm going to have to figure out some kind of system. What do you guys think about one of those, I don't know, uh, toolbox type things, right? Like a real long one. Uh, bolt in the pump, put some hoses in there. Maybe not these hoses because it's so stiff. Maybe something like a garden hose, huh? What do we think about a garden hose on there? Strainer on the suck, and then some kind of filtration thing, then the pump, then you put it into the tank. Spitting out ideas right here. Uh, this, I will continue on with this tomorrow because I am just curious about how this is going to work out. Um, I don't know how much fu uh, fuel, aka oil, is in the tanks at this very moment. <laughs> Right, so I have three of these trash cans. I'm gonna fill them up with oil. That's a total three times 32 for those mathematicians out there. 96 gallons. That should empty out this tank. I hope, and then I can drop it and everything I said. Like I said, we're gonna continue on, but I just want to take a moment. I have just been feeling so appreciative to the community, to all of the wonderful people who watch the videos and understand this is a learning process. Um, every little thing you can do helps me get to a point of self-sufficiency on the road. That is the main goal here. Um, like, comment, share, you know, those, uh, you've heard them a million times. But uh, people just need to be aware of the videos. I plan on doing a lot more travels. I might even park this and then go backpacking at some point. That is my background. I backpacked from San Diego to Guatemala for two or three months by myself and just a backpack. People said, oh my god, you're going to die at the most amazing, amazing time of my life. So I might park this thing, Airbnb it, get a little income, and then take off. But I do want to get to the point where I get my 100,000 YouTube subscriber placard, you know, I just want this to turn into so much more you have no idea. I started this thing because years ago, because I was a little frustrated <laughs> with the TV uh, industry. Um, I've hosted several things in the past. I have a background in editing, hosting, making videos, all that stuff. And I just thought to myself, made all, you know, all this money uh, on this job for the dairy industry. And I put it into bus number one and I went off on these, you know, travels trying to just, you know, live my personal dream. So, help me out. Tell your, uh, tell your neighbors, tell your friends, tell your, tell your grandma, you know, spread the word. We are, uh, we are going places. And, uh, I look forward to taking you guys with me.